Hi guys, just got a quick introduction on this aluminium case that I bought for Raspberry Pi 3 on actually you can buy them from Banggood or AliExpress so this case only available only for Raspberry Pi 3 and 3B but not the Plus version uh, it comes with two colors uh, this is just a silver color but also come with black color and you might get the different logo here First initial impression is extremely thin. You can see how thin it is. It is very thin. There's a little clear plastic in front here. So underneath it, this is where your card goes in. So this case also actually have one of the main advantage is the case the metal case will sort of make a direct contact with the chips so that will act as a giant heat sink and i believe this is one of the very most effective um, passive cooling uh, to clarify when you buy the whole kit they will come with the aluminum shell case but also they give you like a two pieces of thermal packs that you can actually stick into the chips so there are two, one for the CPU and the other one for the smaller chips, which you put, can put them in. And as right now, I'm doing some testing. This is basically a stress test on the CPU and to see how the temperature can fluctuate after I get it running for like 10 minutes. So it's been running around like six minutes already. And I touch on the case, no. You can feel like slightly hint of warmness, but not warm at all. And just clarify, I'm doing the sysbench uh, benchmark for this one. So they push the CPU quite to the extreme. So most of the time in this kind of case, you wouldn't actually get that high temperature. So it sort of fluctuate between I think it's going to be un underneath 60 degrees. I haven't seen it actually going higher than that. Um, I think the case go for $25 plus the shipping. And I think it's, it's, a, it's a great case. It looks fantastic. It's so nice and stylish and I totally recommend it. Um, if you have like another extra LCD screen using GPL, you can just stack on top of it and it just looks super slim. Um, yeah, if you're in the market and would like to spend a bit more money on the case, I think the FLIR, F-I-R-R-C or something, FLIR, there's another case which is cheaper. But in that opinion, it's not exactly the same because this case, I, I in my opinion, is much better style as well and also act like more better passive cooling. Um, so far, the result is impressive. That is going to be at least 35% improvement on the stock heat sink which is already the benchmarking. So the temperature would go up to like 71 to 74 degree. It could all go up to 80 degree as well. That's for default heatsink. But look at this one. It's still staying underneath 50 degree. And this is more nearly, nearly 10 minutes strut testing with this bench. Yeah, all right, cool. If you got any question, let me know.